Hi guys, gas, DIYers, it's Victoria Lynn with another DIY. And this time, it's a furniture piece. I know, I haven't done any furniture yet. I've done mostly home decor. But I learned something. I love DIYing furniture. This is not gonna be the last time that you're gonna see something from me. So today I have a bar stool that I got from a thrift store for I can't remember if it was $6.95 or $9.95, something like that. It's in the video. We'll see the price then. But I got this bar stool, and the reason why I like the bar stool so much is because it was solid wood. It was really thick, heavy, solid wood with a nice metal uh, rung that went around it. So stay tuned to see how Victoria Lynn does DIY. Okay, here I'm just gonna give it a light sand just to get off the old shellac and just smooth out the surface to make it easier for me to reseal the wood. Don't make this mistake of uh, initially I was going in circular motions but you really should be going with the wood which I realized and started going up and down instead of in circles you should be going with the grain of wood to smooth it out Here I'm just removing the hardware and the rung um, so that I can get to the wood underneath to continue smoothing out and uh, removing the lacquer that's on the legs. After I finish removing the lacquer on all of the legs and smoothing it out, I will take the metal rung which has rust on it and use the steel wool in order to shine and polish the um, the metal wrong and it worked really well with making it very shiny and smoothing out any pitted um, rusted areas so that it was really pretty Just wiping off any loose dust from me sanding so that I can place the stencil as well as prepare it for the new lacquer. Measuring to make sure that the stencil is placed in the center of the circle of the stool. Here I'm using the dabbing technique to get the paint through the holes of the stencil but not brushing it because you don't want it to go up under the stencil. You want a crisp, clean um, design to come out when you lift your stencil up. I also wanted the legs of the stool to be white, like little white booties on the bottom of the stool. So I painted all four legs at the very bottom. This is the ceiling uh, top coat, if you will. Um, it's very light, doesn't add a lot of color, but it will seal the wood and give it a light um, satin finish, not a really shiny, glossy finish. And it will give the wood a refreshed, vibrant, new look. And so I apply that to the whole chair, even on top of the um, stencil, as well as the white feet of the chair. Now 
The screws that I took out of the rung were very rusty as well as the rung, so I decided I didn't want to put rusty screws back in now that I had completely shined up my rung, so I'm actually going to file down the heads or smooth out the heads with the little um, buffing uh, stone that I have there, and I'm going to shine them up so that they match with the, the way the rung looks now. See, I was able to get that one from being black to a nice shiny. See how black they are? And so I was able to shine it up so that when I put screw them back in, it'll be nice and shiny. So here I wanted to add a little detail to my stool. I wanted the legs to look more finished as opposed to just being a uh, difference between the white and the natural wood so I wanted to finish it off with a little bit of detail a little color a little pizzazz so I added um, I hot glued these ribbons to where the white um, bottoms of the chair met the natural wood and so I hot glued them to all four legs so that it actually looked like little finished white booties on my stool and it turned out great I love it you tell me what do you guys think So the last thing that I needed to do to finish my stool um, to make it perfect was to add those plastic um, end caps back on the bottoms of the stool so that they uh, don't scratch up the floor because you don't want to just put the wood right on the floor. And the ones that I took off, um, I think they were in the very beginning of the video, I can't remember, but I took them off. They were old and beat up and dirty and messed up when I pried them off. So I bought new ones to put on there and you just hammer them. I just used the same existing holes that were there and just hammered them in. Um, so I put on four new of those little rubber uh, end caps on the legs of the stools. And they were very cute. I love them. Last but not least was to add back the metal rung, which is all nice and shiny and pretty with nice shiny screws. So I screwed that back into the legs of the stool um, the rung of course is what you rest your feet on when you're sitting on the stool and also that helps to keep the legs from spreading out to support the weight that is applied to the stool so they have a dual purpose um, but yeah so it was just to screw those back into their existing holes and that was it my stool was complete so what do you think Think I did a good job with repurposing this stool. It was old and dusty and dirty and rust covered rung. And now it's pretty beautiful and one of a kind. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love making over this stool and I love the little detail elements on it that make it personally mine. Again, thank you so much for watching my video. Please share and comment and like, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when a new video is uploaded. Again, thank you guys. See you next video. Bye.